<clears throat> hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, Ralph's Automotive. Uh, what is it? 20... Oh, 2011 Lincoln MKX. Ridiculous amount of codes in this vehicle. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. 22 codes in all in this vehicle pertaining to, and not limited to, uh, I cleared codes actually because there's no way, no way in the world that I'm gonna not clear codes on something like this right here. We're not gonna uh, do this crazy, crazy stuff with that many codes. Uh, implausible anyway. So here, here I'm gonna give you a prime example of something. I wanna, I wanna show you something. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Anyway, let's let's back up. Ignore that. Ignore that part right there. Well, let, let's let's back up on this because I was I was about to head in a different direction. I thought, ah, no, 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 not going down that rabbit hole. Let me pause you for just a second. Now there is going to be a continuation on this. I got to feel it. All right. P0010, P0013, P0020, P0023, uh, P0102, P0104, P0135, P0141, P0154. Uh, 55, 161, 443. All right, these are all uh, O2 sensor, mass airflow, camshaft actuator circuits. Now, this is this is just one page of many pages. All right, so, but now this, like I said, the list goes on on this thing. Okay, the. It's a rabbit hole. I thought a while ago. Let me flip you around. Sorry about this. Okay. So, I thought a while ago. Now, you know, it's it's too quick. Ford don't never list friggin' fuses. Don't know why. But I went through here and click, 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 real quick. You know. Uh, check these fuses out, okay. Anyway, went through there, go to this, this second row here. Good, 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 good. 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 Nothing. Good. Nothing. Well, let's see what it is. So, in this good old box here, it shows us this has got to be fuse number 67. I know the camera probably not going to pick that up. I'm living right here, 67, and equally so, it's probably not going to pick it up over here. Fuse 67, 20 amp, and what you know, mass airflow, intake air temperature, MAV, IAT sensor, EVAP canister perch valve, VCT solenoids, heated auction sensors. All of that is on that circuit, and all of those codes are in there. Imagine that. Now this thing is filthy. Uh, I looked at mass airflow. I truly, surely did look at mass airflow. I did take it out. It doesn't take but a couple of minutes to take this out. Uh, these things here, to my knowledge, are bad about getting a nasty throttle body. Uh, I will be recommending a clean on the throttle body because it is bad. It is bad. Now, the reason I said this will be continued. Now, I suspect that one of the uh, cam actuators over there is actually bad. That's the reason these, this fuse is actually blowing. I'm gonna pause you up for just a minute, I'm gonna put this uh, air cleaner back together, put the hose on. The hose was loose, by the way, so that's really, really good for fuel trims, but anyway, I'm gonna put that back on. And just so we're absolutely clear on this one, replacing that fuse is not, is not gonna fix it. Well, let me rephrase. Replacing the fuse in my opinion, it's not going to fix this vehicle. There's a reason that fuse blow, obviously. 
I mean, yeah, there's going to be some circumstances, but generally, on these things here, in my experience, is the actuators go bad. Uh, that's normally first thing that I do when it comes to any kind of actuator codes. Uh, oil looks clean. I mean, it does look clean. Level. You know, that's one of the things I check. This oil is full. I mean, it is it's good, it's clean, it's, it's got a full level. So we might be doing the maintenance to this vehicle, you know, or somebody pulled a fast one. That is a possibility too, but yeah. Uh, oil is full, it is clean, it's not dirty, so leads me to believe that there shouldn't be no good reason for an actuator to just be be dead on account of that. Fuse, I ain't got a fuse. Don't tell me I got a fuse. Oh yeah, we got some fuses over here. Probably some kind of Chinese special. I should theoretically use circuit breaker if I want to save on fuses. If you're doing it right, fuses are really cheap. Yep, it's open. It did not blow. Didn't get warm. No. Uh, anyway, quick tip, today is Thursday, so it's a quick tip on the Thursday. You go to the salvage yard, get some parts. Salvage yards don't give a shit if you pull fuses out or not. Well, that's the side that, oh, yeah, you can see. That's, that's that part. I can tell you this. Start up at idle is something it wouldn't do before. This is the load side of things. We'll turn this vehicle back off. Now there's some pending codes in there. Get rid of uh, we're gonna get rid of some pending codes on that on that thing and like I said well no I didn't say that but anyway I knew this was after I found that I knew this was gonna turn into a rather quick video I was just gonna bring you along if you have that problem uh, with all the codes that I just listed basically uh, check your fuses you know check that first and don't be surprised if that fuse is gonna blow because something is obviously making it blow something's drawing too much current you know and that may be a thing here we may have to further investigate but for right now to save to save the customer some money i'm just going to send them on their way and see if this is going to happen again so if that's going to happen again i know then okay now we need to figure out what is drawing enough current pop the fuse in this case here, like I said, I'm not going to go through all that right now. I'm going to save that customer a little bit of money. I don't think they got a, uh, they got a lot of money to go around. So I'm going to save them a little bit of money, you know, charge them a little bit for, uh, for finding a blown fuse, scanning their vehicle. And, um, you know, we're going to, we're going to let it go. And if the symptom returns, then the customer will know that, okay, now I'm gonna to have to pay to get a proper diagnostic and you know we're gonna to have to do some current draw checks to see where uh, where things are going we're gonna to have to check some uh, uh, maybe even check some own values on on the uh, actuators she want to share this with you there you have it we'll see you on the next one